So good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, today I'm going to talk about ceramic bone scaffolds for bone regeneration. And if it will work, yeah, it will work. I will focus mainly on ceramic scaffolds for spinal fusion. At start, I would like to start with this picture uh, because here is the scaffolding. Uh, such an unpleasant look can happen when you are at a good place at the wrong time, as it happened to me in London. But uh, I don't want to talk about my disappointment. Uh, here, this picture is because of the scaffolding, which is the structure around the Big Bang, which helps workers climb up and down and helps them to repair uh, the structure and restore its beauty again. Uh, these structures, for the sake of this presentation, can be divided into three main parts, as we will talk about them later. The first part is scaffolding itself, which is kind of structure which uh, helps workers climb up and down and helps them to reach the furthest uh, ends of uh, re uh, of a repaired part. The second uh, are the workers. You need the skillful workers which are able to repair this building and these cons uh, these constructions efficiently and uh, and to restore their good shape. And the last but not least is the food for the workers and because they need to be supplied with nutrition and energy because they spend a lot of energy during the reparation works. And about all these parts, we will talk later uh, focusing on ceramic bone scaffolds. Now, we will talk about invertebral disc prolapse treatment. Invertebral disc prolapse is a very painful status when this invertebral disc uh, is uh, prolapsed into a spinal cord cavity or nerve canal, and it push up against the nerves, which cause immense uh, immense pain to the patient. And one of the possible treatment is uh, invertebral body fusion. When those uh, invertebral bodies are fused together, and uh, it relieves the pain of the patient. Today, there are several implants used and they are usually made from uh, metallic material as titanium or polymeric material as a peak polymer. Um, those implants are inserted between two vertebral bodies and these vertebral bodies are fused together. The main dis uh, disadvantage of these implants is that once they are inserted between uh, these vertebras, they will stay there forever because they are not bioreservable. And that's where we go with our research. We are trying to find a way to replace those materials with ceramic materials, which are uh, both bioactive and they uh, allow uh, to be uh, biodegraded uh, once the fusion of the vertebral body is done. So our implant consists of two parts. The first part is quite a rigid ring of uh, ceramic material, which loads the bear, or which bears the loads of uh, the body during the movement and hold the, uh, uh, hold, uh, the spine in the upright position. And the center of the implant is uh, uh, is filled with a sponge-like ceramic material, which is in our case the scaffolding, as we saw it on the first picture, which is the structure which helps the workers. In our case, it uh, is going to be uh, cells uh, to spread, proliferate, and create new bone tissue. So that's our new scaffolding, different material, and better bioactive properties. And then we need some workers. We need to hire some workers to do reparation for us. And the most uh, promising way is to hire these workers from our own body. So fortunately, as, as if I can paraphrase Richard Feynman, there's a lot of keen workers down there in our body. So we can hire these workers in, uh, in the form of osteoblast and osteoclast from surrounding tissue, which will uh, help us to dissolve uh, to repair and fuse together these vertebras and dissolve and get rid of the implant after the healing is done. So these are our workers. And as I said, 
because they spent a lot of energy during the reparation, we have to supply them with an energy. So we have to deliver their food and their food in this case is a blood with oxygen and all nutrition which they need for their development. And that's why our colleagues at Masaryk University try to use microvascular fragments to be seeded on our ceramic scaffold, which will lead to, bet, uh, to better development of brain system during the healing and better, uh, better let's say, food delivery to, uh, to the bone cells repairing our bone. And more, uh, moreover, these microvascular grafts are uh, get during the lip liposuction, so you can get rid of some kilos and heal your, uh, heal your spine during one session. So here is our final equation when we've got a new ceramic bone scaffolding. Uh, we are able to hire uh, the cells from surrounded tissue and uh, we can uh, supply them with enough energy, which equals to free movement again. So the main deliverables of our approach and of our implant is that we are trying to develop no novel bioreservable bio implant with fast vascularization, because the main problem of the implants is that when there is no vascularization, the new bone tissue cannot be developed through the volume of the uh, inserted material, which is then uh, reflected in enhanced cell colonization. So I hope that this quite quick uh, presentation gives you something. And have a nice day and thank you for your attention. And now it's time for your questions, if you have any. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. A very, very, very nice and very nicely done presentation. Uh, what's the what's the reaction if, if there was a, already a study on uh, if you have done a study on the compatibility with the I I don't know if that's the right word for it, but uh, how does the living tissue could tolerate mm -hmm. this material? Were there any yeah. reactions mm -hmm. or okay, uh, okay. Those materials as a materials are not super brand new. These are calcium phosphates and they have been researched for quite a while. And there is no adverse reaction of the body uh, when the implant is inserted. And of course, we did some preliminary testing of our materials uh, on the level of bone cells and they like it. So there is no adverse reaction uh, that uh, body doesn't like this material, it's absolutely biocompatible, so no problem from this side. Mm 